Hello sir, I am very glad to introduce myself to you sir. I am Anmesh, I am from Marpelli Guda. I am currently staying in the Hyderabad. I completed, uh, recently I completed my graduation as a, in PJEC as a men's team of electrical and electronics engineering in Balaji Institute of Technology and Science and with the aggregate percentage of 67. Coming to my technical skills sir, I have a good knowledge on Python and along with Python I have a knowledge on SQL and CSS and HTML. And coming to my strengths, I am a hard worker and positive thinking. And coming to my weaknesses, I am I'm focusing on only one work. And uh, my hobbies are playing cricket and uh, listening music and uh, drawing. I, my short term goal is to get a good job in a reputed company like yours. And I, my, my long term goal is to get a, a good position where I can work. And I have a beautiful family consisting of the four members, including me. Thank you for giving this opportunity. That's nice, Anvesh. Okay. So you are telling you like listening music. So who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Ajit Singh. Ajit Singh. Can you mention one movie for which he has? What is the popular song of Arjit Singh? Awesome. So we are a good follower of Arjit Singh. Yes. Okay. So right. So <coughs> in your skills, you mentioned that you know Python, you know SQL, you know HTML, CSS also. But right now, uh, like we have requirement in SQL. Okay. So I will ask you mostly in SQL. Okay. But anyway, you have mentioned about Python in your uh, resume. Okay. So can you tell me something? What what do you know about Python? Tell me what is Python? Uh, Python is a uh, is a high level language mm -hmm. with the interactive and, uh, and say interactive and uh, very simple uh, language mm -hmm. with uh, for the small syntax uh, mm -hmm. and uh, okay. Do you know data types in Python? Yes, sir. So can you tell me some of the data types in Python? Data types is nothing but the which uh, we can store the value of uh, some data which, uh, in the one variable is nothing but the data type. Mm -hmm. What the uh, data will be stored in the va uh, variable is nothing but the data type. So some uh, types of uh, data types in Python is uh, number type data type and the string data type and the tuple data type, dictionary data type and uh, and byte data type mm -hmm. and the set data type. Okay. That's set. okay, it seems you have uh, idea on data types. So, do you have idea on object oriented programming? Yes, sir. So, can we implement OOPS using Python? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So, uh, uh, tell me about something about constructor. What do you mean by constructor? Constructor is nothing but the, uh, we, uh, we can use for the objects in, uh, including the class. For that purpose, we can use the constructor. In it constructor, we can use for the Python. Mm -hmm. In the class, mm -hmm. we, we can uh, use uh, init constructor to mm -hmm. include the objects in the class. Okay, nice. Okay, right. So, like as I told you, let us come back to let us focus more on SQL. Okay, yes. right. So, tell me, we have data, we have information, right? What is the main difference between data and information? Data is nothing but the collections of uh, facts and figures. Mm -hmm. Facts is nothing but the audio files and the text files. Mm -hmm. And the figures is nothing but the video files and the graphics. Okay. The information is nothing but the meaningful data. Mm -hmm. So if the data is a meaningful, uh, I can say, for example, if I have meaningful data, can I directly call it as information? Do I need to process it? Uh, directly not. So directly not. Like then what do you mean by database? Database is nothing but it is a software mm -hmm. which we can uh, which we which is allows the user to mm -hmm. save the data in the database. Mm -hmm. So is there any relationship between data and database? Yes, sir. Okay. What we, kind? What kind of can you tell me a little bit? If the data, some type of data, we can store in the uh, anywhere, but uh, we can store in the database mm -hmm. by using the some uh, queries or tables mm -hmm. uh, in the form of the tables. Mm -hmm. For that uh, purpose, we can use the databases. Okay. So, what is the difference between you know about database management system? Yes. 
RDBMS. So there is another thing called RDBMS. What is RDBMS? RDBMS is a relational database system. So what is the difference between this uh, DBMS and RDBMS? Yes, sir. The, the difference between the DBMS and RDBMS, where in the DBMS, the applications store in the form of the files. In the RDBMS, the applications store in the form of the tables. And uh, the data will be stored in the uh, hierarchical form or the normal form in the files like uh, mm -hmm. but in the rdbms we can store the uh, uh, store the data in uh, by using the uh, attribute like uh, primary key mm -hmm. in the form of the table tabular form and so what is the advantage of uh, which is advantages whether it is dbms is advantages or rdbms rdbms is advantages so what is the main feature that will attracts the rdbms the main feature of the rdbms is uh, it will uh, use it for the uh, large databases Mm -hmm. And uh, it we can use uh, with multiple users, uh, mm -hmm. and like that, my SQL and my SQL examples, mm -hmm. and Oracle database also. Okay, so like how many databases have come here? So do you know Oracle database? Yes. Uh, do you know Microsoft? Yes. Okay. Can you operate with both of things, right? Yes. Okay. So what is field? Field is nothing but the one uh, set of the mm -hmm. attribute, the entity of the table. Which is consisting of the some data of the uh, column level in the table. Okay. What is DDL? DDL is a data definition language. What do you mean by that? It can create and uh, re uh, restructure the tables or something data in the mm -hmm. table form. Then what is DML? DML is a data manipulation language. Okay. So what what is the difference between DDL and DML? DDL is uh, def uh, defining the la language. If we can give, for example, we can create a table, uh, names and the ages. We can give the ages uh, like uh, some format, but we can't uh, mention the ages. Just we show the numbers. We, uh, we can imagine that the numbers are anything, or uh, row numbers or ages, something, weight or nothing. But we can define some uh, attribute like uh, age. So this is nothing but the uh, definition, mm -hmm. defining the language. Okay. So uh, and uh, the data in, in the table, like rows form, row, rows, uh, is nothing but the data manipulation language. Okay. So what is SQL basically? Can you tell me something about SQL? SQL is nothing but the standard uh, structured query language. Mm -hmm. And we can uh, retrieve any data from the SQL mm -hmm. by using commands. Uh, okay. And uh, it is... Uh, it is uh, organized by the mm -hmm. ANS, ANSI, uh, American Standard, uh, National Standard Institute, mm -hmm. and uh, we can use uh, by SQL update and delete and inserting mm -hmm. and uh, drop or drag and do so many. So things. just tell me, I have three columns. I want to create three columns, a table which comes of three columns. Okay, name, date of birth. Okay, other one is grade. Okay. So can you tell me what is the command that I need to use? I want to create three columns. Can you tell me what is the equivalent DDL instruction for that? Create table mm -hmm. uh, and the table name okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. and the uh, values, column name, mm -hmm. column name and the data type. You can give a name, name and a data type which you want to give numbers. So what are the data types in SQL? SQL data types are uh, You are telling you can give name and data type, right? So what, what is about the data type? Data types are character data type, mm -hmm. number data type, mm -hmm. and uh, is there Do you know about varchar? Yes, sir. And what is the difference between char and varchar? In the word char, we can use data like uh, 10, uh, 10 bytes or 20 bytes. Okay. We can fill it only up to 3 bytes or 4 bytes. In CAR, we, uh, we can allocate some data, but the remaining data will be wasted for that only. Okay. We cannot use for the another, uh, another data. Mm -hmm. So in pair CAR, we can use the mm -hmm. up to uh, fill, uh, up to use the data, mm -hmm. and the remaining bytes we can use the another data. For. What do you mean by aggregate functions? Aggregate functions are uh, grouping functions, mm -hmm. like uh, average, uh, maximum, minimum and sum or count. Mm -hmm. We can use uh, some uh, uh, all the rows from the 
table, we can average uh, from uh, salary, like uh, take the salary and average from all this. Mm -hmm. We can use it for the select uh, table name and average of uh, mm -hmm. column name or execution okay. from the table. Mm -hmm. Right. So, like, uh, is there anything, something beyond RDBMS? Yeah, is there any something beyond RDBMS? You told that we have a DBMS and we have RDBMS. So, is there anything advanced than RDBMS? Advanced means uh, we... Do you know any idea? <laughs> think, think. Don't you have anything? We can so, what is the main the feature in RDBMS? Main you feature didn't answer to my question. Uh, what is the interesting feature? So, it has one unique, okay, unique feature. What is that? We can uh, retrieve data from the anything. Uh, in the real time, we can use the banking sector also. Do you know about uh, object relational database management? Object relational database management. Okay. So we have relational RDBMS, then we have object DBMS, right? Do you know about object DBMS? Okay, no issue, right? Okay. So that's cool. Uh, like, you know, mm, what is the difference between like, you know, uh, where and having classes? Yes, sir. Where class is using for the filtering rows okay. and having class is using for the filtering the uh, grouping, group. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can use it before the group by class, mm -hmm. uh, where mm -hmm. class. And uh, we can use the having class after the group class. Okay. And uh, we can use for the, uh, without using the group class, we can use where class only. Mm -hmm. But uh, having class is using for grouping class. So what do you, what's the difference between SQL and uh, MySQL? Some uh, data types will be changes from the SQL and MySQL. No, where application point of view, what is the difference? What is NoSQL? Do you know NoSQL? You, are you aware of term NoSQL? NoSQL. Right. Do you know PLSQL? Right, Anvish, it's nice, okay, no issue. So, that's nice response, so we will contact you back, okay, fine.